Honey, I'm sorry. I, I haven't had time to look into Hope's cause no, of death. It's, it's and okay. I guess I'm sure you could get an order of exhumation no. if you wanted. No, I can't. I can't do that. I cannot do that to Star. Then you may just have to live with not knowing why the baby died. I know. And I've decided that I can. I can do that. Like I can. I'm kind of tired. Can you stay here for a little while while I go to sleep? No. I actually have better things to do. Not! Do you know where Mom is? Uh, no. But she'll be back soon. Good. I want to show her how the comic begins. So you'll do it? You'll break up with Rex? I said I would, didn't I? You save Shane. I leave Rex, come on. Wait, where are we going? To the hospital to get this started. What, do you think I'm stupid? I save Shane and all of a sudden you call our deal off, right? No. Huh, no, you break up with Rex. You make him believe it, and then I'll come forward as a donor. But Dr. McBain said the sooner we get this transplant started, the better it is for Shane. Uh, Stacey, how am I supposed to convince Rex that I don't love him anymore in a few days? It's not my problem. <laughs> There's nothing I can say that is going to make Rex believe that it's over between us. Well, you better think of something, because time's a waste in baby cakes. But you read my deposition, Your Honor. Dorian Lord, while being a very loving aunt, is also a convicted murderer. And Addie Kramer, while being a very sweet person, is a little off. Uh, she spent some time at St. Anne's. Uh, recently, uh, Dorian got all Buddhist or something like that, and she uh, signed over her house to her chef. <laughs> and, now, and now my daughter is living down the hall from a convicted murderer. Yeah, you're a model citizen. Uh, I'm not doing this to get back at my ex-wife for the order of protection. I'm not. On the contrary, uh, I'll always care about Blair. And <laughs> as a matter of fact, just the other day, Blair's lawyer uh, told me that she thinks that I'm still in love with Blair. Uh, anyway, I think Blair's the best mother in the world, I really do, but if she can't be there for her children right now because she's incapacitated, isn't the next best choice their own flesh and blood? I mean, as you can see, I fulfill the obligations to the court, and I think I deserve that chance. Ms. Delgado, what do you have to say to this? I agree with Mr. Manning. The children's next best choice is their father. Pirate. <laughs> Warmer. One guess left. Oh, you are mysterious. International spy. Unbelievable. Suddenly, the lady has run flat out of guesses. Wrong again. You mean I'm never going to find out what you do? You might yet. What I do is this. Uh-oh. It's a shame I don't have time to drop her off at mom's because I think she's getting sleepy. I have to go pick up Bree. Well, actually, we're, we were going to head back there. We her with us if you want. I'll give her a bottle and put her down for a nap. Thank you. Do you see? That's why I want you guys to be godparents. Well, uh, thanks for asking us. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but it would really mean a lot to me, you know? So, okay, give me the keys to your car. I'm going to. Don't. You know, sure. um, put the baby seat in, okay? Okay. Uh, I'll uh, grab the straw. Thanks. Godparents. My God, how in the world are we going to tell Jessica the truth now? So you're really not going to keep trying to find out what killed Hope? I don't know. I mean, it would kind of be like lying to myself, wouldn't it? It would just keep me wrapped up in something that could never be. Bad things happen. <sighs> look at Shane. Look at Matthew. And the only thing I know to do is to accept it, hope for the best, and... And I'll be grateful for what you have. I'm a lucky woman, you know. I got you. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Rex knows how much I love him. How am I supposed to do this? That's your problem. But let me know when you got it figured out. And now, I've got some unpacking to do. So Chemo Boy went back to his master, T-Rex, and told him that it was over. Leukemia was gone and was never coming back. And then Chemo Boy and T-Rex got ready for their next great adventure. The end. Delgado, I don't understand your statement. You submitted a brief to me which outlined Mr. Manning's lack of fitness as a parent, and now you're recommending that custody of your client's children be awarded to him? Your Honor, I apologize. I, I misspoke. <laughs> uh, let me clarify. I meant to say that I agree with Mr. Manning that his children need to be cared for by a parent. But when I said their father, I meant to say their stepfather. John, it's, it's me, Marty. I uh, just dropped Cole off at the drug treatment center, which was easy, but it was certainly a lot better than seeing him carted off to prison. Anyway, what you said before about uh, well, caring about me, that meant a lot to me. Your Honor, I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm talking about the children's stepfather. Blair's husband. Husband. Anyway, uh, give me a call when you get a chance, OK? And who is her husband? That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> 